All right. So, first thing, you want to line up the frame, obviously, in the center of the screen, depending on where you want your design. In this case, I want the crest to be in the very center of the shirt. So, usually you want to like secure it to the shirt so nothing uh, moves on it. Otherwise, you'll get ghosting, which is a really bad thing, and you just don't want that. All right, so first thing you do after you have the shirt all ready to go and the screen all prepped, you want to take the ink that you're going to be uh, scraping over the design. Just like dab a little bit on the top, both sides. Make sure you have plenty of ink, plenty of material, because you want to try and get it all in like one, one swipe, but you don't want to put too much. So like try and like limit it a little bit. Since I have a big, kind of like a longer sort of crest, so I'll put a little bit more in the middle, a little bit less on the side. And then you take your squeegee, or scraper thing, well that's what we'll call it, and then you just start at the top, and you apply a little bit of pressure, and you just go down over the design. Slow like fashion, and then you take it, go back up, I want to do this at least like hmm, one to four times. Okay. And that's how you screen print a shirt. <laughs> so let's just take a look at it. Right. I'm going to be careful to list it up. So you don't ruin the design. Okay. So it turned out okay. Sometimes you'll have to paint in a little bit. So right now I have this fine brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint in all the parts that are kinda not that well. This usually happens with screens that have been used multiple times because some of the, the ink gets stuck in the screen, so then it creates these little gaps in your design. And that is why every single design is different. Everyone has a little bit of a personal touch to it. So, just about there, clean up these edges a little bit. Okay. So after you have that done, you just want to let it, the ink dry a little bit before you heat set it. And, yeah. Okay, so look, now we have to wait a little bit. So after it's all dry, you wanna put something down. I'm using just a sheet of tracing paper. You can use like a paper bag or anything just to put a layer between uh, the iron and the ink. So what this does is it heat sets it so the ink doesn't wash off when you dry it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it does. And you just go over it once or twice. You want to spend about maybe two to three minutes on this because you don't want to obviously burn the paper or you don't want to burn the shirt. Right now I have this iron set to max. And typically you always do want it set to max so that it sort of like shocks the ink. There you go.
You now have a sweatshirt with the brand Aspire to Inspire on it.